Good evening, everyone. This is Linda. Oh, listen, guys. Um, outside, it is windy. Yeah, uh, when it's not windy, it's raining out there, right? So I couldn't talk. I couldn't even hear myself think out there. So I had to come in here to do this intro for you all. Now, the video you are about to see, it's a voiceover, but, you know. You're gonna, you're gonna get the just of it, right? I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Still, it's a gorgeous day, no matter what. God has blessed us to see it, right? So that's a blessing all by itself. But today, guys, I'm going to just share more of my vegetables that I have. And oh, I discovered something really cool. So listen, uh, last season, many of you know, if you were here, that my plantain plants, I had to saw them down using my buddy, Stanley. <laughs> That's my saw. And I sawed all my plantain plants down. Yeah, many people said that they wasn't going to come back. But they did. Yes. But not only did they came back, one is going into flower. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So I did achieve one flower, but we had a hurricane. Or, oh, it was a hurricane. Zeta. It was Zeta. Yeah. And so the plantains did not stay on the plant long enough, right? I did not get the opportunity to enjoy those plantains. But hopefully, hopefully... You know, we get another great shot at it and nothing happens and we can enjoy these plantains because we're getting the flower. Ooh, it's exciting, I tell you. But anyway, guys, yes, I'm sharing that and just other fruits and vegetables that I'm growing in my garden. Also today, I'm going to be sharing with you a harvest, a small harvest of my leeks. Now listen guys, I, I just want you all to hear me. Sometimes people are looking for these bumper crop harvests, right? And the, the huge harvests. So I like to harvest almost daily, you know, a small amount of what I use and eat in my kitchen every day. So I feel if you would harvest something from your garden every day and prepare your meals with it and eat with it, then seriously, you will be passing that up in the grocery store where the persons who's waiting for a bumper crop because they, they feel like this is the best for them. And listen, I ain't got nothing wrong with bumper crops, but I just find that uh, if you have smaller harvests, staggering your plants out where you can get more harvests um, in a month's time, then you will be doing great because you will not have to purchase that in the store. Well, if you're waiting for a bumper crop, then yeah, you're going to have to, at some point, when you go to the store, you're going to have to buy it because they ain't ready. So stagger your plants and harvest a little bit every day. That's what we're doing over here. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you all for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. all. I truly do. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing... My zone nine garden. Last time I did achieve a flower from my banana trees or plantain trees, the flower had to drop down. And the reason I didn't know she was flowering is because I never looked up. 
yeah, but this time, Jody passed by, and we was out there talking, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> something is happening, <laughs> but there is uh, the flower that is coming from this plantain tree, yes, my trees are not banana trees, we found out last year that they are plantains, they are plantains, yeah, so this is the way this flower is looking. She looks really different from the last one. Also, I'm worried because you see that wind out there? Do you see that wind? Yeah, it is very windy, uh, extremely windy out there. So I'm hoping that <clears throat> the wind don't knock her down. <laughs> but you know, if, if it does, you know, it's that's all in the plan, you know. So I'm excited about it anyway. But I'm definitely gonna keep you all updated on what's going on with Miss Plantain. So here is more of sugarcane that I have growing. I just was sharing my sugarcane, and here is that beautiful, beautiful flower, really close up. It's hard to get a good lighting for that you know but that's what it is so today i'm going to harvest some of my leeks yes i think i harvest about three leeks from here and um i'm just trying to get the bigger bigger ones out so i can uh, get the smaller ones in the back and um so they could be from under the lemon balm and hopefully they can uh, grow uh, big and tall like these guys are doing. So um, that's what I'm doing here. Just harvesting these three beautiful leeks that I'm going to get in. Um, <laughs> I was uh, uh, just cleaning up some of the, the grass and the weeds that's gotten into this little bed. And uh, I almost choked in the sturgeon, so, uh, but I didn't hurt her. She all right. She all right. Nah, she's all right. <laughs> yeah. But um, the, um, I love the idea of being able to come out and harvest my food, uh, you know, um, daily, uh, once a week, um, just to um, clean it and put it up in the house so I can use it for cooking and eating. Um, and this is why I drop seeds the way I do and I stagger my plants the way I do so I can always have something maturing so I can um, harvest. I can always get a harvest from something in my garden. And that's how I get to eat from my garden every day. So sometimes some people say, well, Miss Linda, you drop seeds every day. <laughs> and that's true. It's true. They telling the truth. Yeah. But, um, you know, that's a reason. There's a reason uh, why I drop so many seeds because I don't want, I'm not looking for things to mature at the same time. No. Um, I have a long growing season, okay? That's one thing you should know about Zone 9. We have a long growing season. And because I have a long growing season, I can drop seeds. I can drop seeds. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I do. And um, every day... I can come out here and harvest something from my garden. And it doesn't matter if it's uh, parsley, if it's onions, if it's garlic tops, if it's chives, you know, it doesn't matter. I have three varieties of peppers that is ready right now that I can harvest right now and eat them today. Yeah. And that's because I stagger my plants. Now, I know that a lot of people cannot do that because you don't have that long growing season. 
Do I understand that perfectly? Perfectly. So uh, I'm not speaking of or speaking to the ones who have a very short growing season. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But um, I was uh, just uh, cleaning up some of this bed here. And this little Katrina brick here, that is a celery in there. But yeah, she's been overtaken by weeds and grass. So I'm going to have to get in there and really uh, get all of those bricks really clean in there because... It doesn't do nothing but stunt your your plants because the weeds and the, you find you have big healthy weeds and grass and your poor plants are suffering for food. <laughs> so it's not only they taking their food, they bullies at it. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, this is my uh, my three leeks. Now there's some of them in there. They they still pretty big, but they're they uh, they are not as big as they can be. So I'm not going to shortchange them. I'm gonna let them do their thing, and just get a little bit more bigger, and then I'm going to harvest them. But I'm gonna pull some of the smaller ones out, and um, so they can get big also. Yeah. So that is that nasturtium right there that I was choking. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, she's fine. She, she's good. She's good. Yeah. And um, that curly parsley is just absolutely gorgeous. And, and this chives, this garlic chives right there. Yeah. Now that plant right there, that's a cutting to something. <laughs> I don't remember what plant that was. But as you can see, she's doing great. She's doing great. Yeah. And here I'm just saying how I just need to get all those chives from under there and put it out there and, and really get all the weeds from out of this little bed that's trying to be taken over by everything. You know. Yeah. And there is my three leeks. They're nice size. Very, very nice size leeks. And um, I'm going to bring them in the house. And I'm going to clean them up. Yo, let me clean them up. So that's my three leeks. I brought them in. And I'm going to cut the bottoms off of them. And, yeah, I'm going and uh, replant them right back out in the garden. Exactly. And so these are uh, the three that I got here today. They're really, really tall and healthy. And, yeah, so I'm going to chop them up. I'm going to clean them up really good and chop them up really, really good. And, yep, I'm going to put them in my freezer bag and use them as needed for my meals. Yep, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> I'm always looking forward to stuff like that. Yeah. This is a beautiful plant that I have, and Jody and I have been enjoying this plant. So when I get the name of this plant, I'm going to make sure I put it up here somewhere, but it's from Baker Creek, and... It's going into seed, and I'm just going to let her because I want those seeds. And look at her. She is absolutely stunning. Uh, not only to look at, but she tastes good. And my peach tree, you can see a lot of the leaves are turning yellow. It's just because we've just been having so much rain. But she's holding on to her peaches. Hold on to your peaches, baby. Don't let go. This is a Red Haven peach tree. And this is my first season with this tree. But she's cool. And my elderberries. These are my elderberries. And if you can see the wind out there, the wind, I'm holding them. But, man, it just feels, yeah, it is so windy out there. Uh, but those that's my elderberries. They're really, really doing good. And hopefully the wind will calm down um, a little bit so she won't lose all of her flowers. Here is more sugar cane. And 
there I have another sugar cane. So this is in uh, a grow bag and this is some Swiss chard and there is a uh, onion growing in there that I need to get out. <laughs> I need to get that onion out really bad. Yeah. You see that's that bloody dock right there next to my uh, ground cherries. That's a celery growing back there in that grow bag. It's a Sarah bag. Hey, Sarah. And the next three bags is um, carrots. And the last one is kohlrabi. Yeah. You see, that bag is some kind of Swiss chard. Carrots and peppers is in that bag. Yeah, that's what's out. And there's um, a brown turkey fig tree back there, too. Yeah. This is some green beans I'm growing in a grow bag. It's just sitting up there, looking all cute. Yeah. Mm. And this is, oh, that's a goal. That's an LSU goal. I can tell it's a goal because her figs are so plumpy. <laughs> she have fat figs <laughs> so that's the gold yeah that's the LSU gold they're all of them really all the fig trees are doing very very well and someone asked on one of the videos you know what kind of fertilizers do I give my fig trees well come on y'all know me <laughs> I give my all my fig trees peach tree pear lemon persimmon Olive, all of them, they all love 511. Mm -hmm. And they show it. They show it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, I give them all 511. Everybody get 511 in this garden. Yeah, from herbs, well, not flowers. I don't intentionally give flowers 511 let's say that and this is my hibiscus she is so ready to bloom some flowers but I'm afraid if she do the wind is just gonna blow them away you know but she's doing really good beautiful healthy healthy plant my little lemon tree that's one of them she is just breaking out with the flowers but hopefully the rain could stop because it's just too much water for her. Too much water. Yeah. But I think she'll be all right. And these are my favorite zenas. It's a cactus zenas. And there they are, looking all cute, sitting in the front row. I like you too, baby. I like you too. Yeah. And... The Mexican sunflower. She's about to give her flower, but yeah, when this girl start making flowers, everyone will know. <laughs> yeah, that is, of course, a gladiola in right by the uh, the tree stump. Well, now this flower here is coming up, and she is just ready to burst, but you know, that wind just won't let her be great. <laughs> this is the tallest sunflower I have in my yard. Now, she is maybe a little bit taller than I am. Just a little bit. Not that much, but she's taller than me. Yeah. She kind of jumped up overnight. And here's some of my cucumbers. Yep, I got some more cucumbers. Jody hit some hard. <laughs> but that's okay. I love it. I love it. Yeah, when they're ready, baby, get them. Eat them. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, this gladiola, like, sprung up her, uh, this, this, uh, um, herringbone overnight, and she was quick at it, so she'll be getting her flowers very soon, very soon. Yeah, I like wondering what color she's going to be. So this is from behind when I was talking to you about the cactus zenas. I'm behind that little bed now. 
And of course, you know, you see a lot of morning glories and blueberries are in this bed. Also, with this peach tree. This is my 100 gallon grow bag. That's what's in there. Now, this has surely become Jody's lunch bucket. <laughs> yeah. You see, I've been getting a lot of that from the weather, but this grow bag has been amazing, amazing for me. Um, and I have a, a lot of eggplants, just a lot of everything in here. And Jody come over here with her little basket and she picks her lunch. And I'm going to tell you, that is one of the precious things that I love so much. And those are leeks. I love it. I love it when um, they eat really good food. And I know it's good food for them. It makes my heart happy. Yeah, so this is my 100-gallon grow bag. Yeah, back to our root homestead. That's what I'm talking to. This is the second, this is my number two plant of rhubarb. And uh, <clears throat> she has some spotting too because of all the water. But, you know, rhubarb is not supposed to be, it's not good growing here in this area. So I've been told that they don't like my zone. So we'll see. We'll see. I just want the starks. <laughs> So this is Jada Circle, and it is booming with flowers. I love to see it early in the morning when all the morning glories are open, and it is just amazing. Yeah, it just gives you the most warm feeling just to look at this thing. It's beautiful. And this is my chickpeas. Yeah, that's those chickpeas, yo. They doing good. And of course, my Moringa Olifera trees. Yeah, sitting there looking all cute with 5'11". <laughs> yeah, because when the weather break, everybody gonna get some. Yeah, they all right, though. They all right. Guess they doing okay. Um, a lot of yellowing of leaves, but... That's everybody in the garden, you know. But other than that, they're doing well. Mmm. The Moringa Olifera. That's them. Jada Strawberries. <laughs> Jada stopped by here early in the morning before school and get strawberries. Um, yeah, she've had many, many harvests off of these strawberries. I mean, they have really done her well. And um, I'm I'm very happy for her. She love it. <clears throat> so she love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been harvesting these purple beans uh, and sweet peas and butter beans. And yeah, I love it because I go in, I come out and pick up some beans and go back in and make me a little quick stir fry. Hey, I'm good, y'all. I'm good. But I'm eating good. And that beat, yeah, that's probably tomorrow's lunch. Mm-hmm. Because it's big enough for me. <laughs> These are that those white soul strawberries. Now, I haven't got any strawberries from them yet, but they look amazing. I started these, of course, from seed. It's a Baker Creek seed. And uh, that is from seed. Yeah. And this is my little table of little babies. Yeah. So as I take some out and put them in the garden, I put something back. So <clears throat> these are uh, the ones that I have on the table right now. Some of them, they're ready to go out. Yeah, they big boys and girls. They could go now. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. That's my butternut squash. <laughs> yeah. So all the melons, the um, squashes, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful evening. 
Later, y'all.